I'm getting paper. Look at me now. Lila, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my motherfucking channel. You guys know the drill with that, as always, and if you guys haven't seen any of my videos and are new to my channel, what the fuck is up? I'm Lila. I know I literally just look like a fucking used condom, boiled egg, what the fuck ever right now, but that is because I've gotten some requests to show you guys how the fuck I snatch my wig, and for those of you who are confused, I wear a fucking wig because my real hair literally looks like it's falling out and is literally like two inches long. It's not cute. It's not a look, and so that's why I wear a wig. And honestly, shout out to Freedom Couture for this wig. You guys know what wig I'm talking about. It's my main bitch. It was literally like $3,000, but I didn't pay a fucking dime. I was blessed enough to win a giveaway that they did on their Instagram page like a year ago, so literally God fucking bless. I don't know what I would do without her. So yeah, if you guys want to see a video of how I lay my edges, how I snatch my wig and make it look fire and style it and whatnot, then go ahead and give this video a big ass motherfucking thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed and join the Hooker fam and keep on watching. So, I went out last night, and literally this wig just like looks like it went through hell in a big orgy. So for starters, obviously, we are just going to brush through her from the bottom, because when you brush from the top, oh my god, did an eyelash just fall out? I think an eyelash was literally just stuck to my wig, but it's fine. If you brush from the top of your wig, it just like pulls straight from the roots, and we do not want that, because we literally want this to last longer than my life. Brushing out all the mistakes, the alcohol, the random guy's tongues that were down my throat. Just brush through it all, forget that it happened, and move on. She's a new day or whatever. Okay, so now that she is brushed and ready to get on my fucking head, we are going to be taking this got to be glued, spiked up, max control styling gel, bitch. And it better be max control because you know when I'm pop locking and dropping this pussy in the club, we can't have her flying off. So I literally just take like a tiny ass size, like literally how many brain cells I have left. And I just put it right where the front part of your wig is going to be laid. And again, I don't know if this is even the right fucking way to do it, but it works for me. And that is the motherfucking tea. You guys can comment, tell me that I'm doing it wrong, tell me that I look like ass, but... I think I look snatched and that is all that matters. So then you can either take a blow dryer or a fan or whatever and let this dry because you kind of just want to get it tacky just like all these boring ass fake bitches. But I kind of just do this and I'm an impatient ass bitch so I never let it actually get tacky. I kind of just like pretend it's tacky because I don't have fucking time to sit and wait or blow dry my fucking hair. Like no, we're moving on. So then the next step of my little hair snatching tutorial moment is to take the got to be glued blasting free spray bitch. And it literally says like spike cement finish. So it's supposed to just like go on top of this and really like make sure that the wig doesn't fucking move when you are getting to down. And so I'm just going to take this and it's a spray. So it's just like Okay, so now that it is sticky, we are going to take the wig, bitch, and then make sure the baby hairs are pulled back so it just doesn't, like, get glued weird. And then I always hold the wig like this and then pull it, like, backwards, and then I'm going to, like, lay the front part where it'll be on my forehead, which literally, I don't even know if that fucking made sense, bitch. Let's pretend it did, and let's move on. And then I always take this strap, pull it back so it kind of smashes in the wig cap, and then take these two little clips, Clip them the fuck in. And then once the wig is on your head, I always just fucking sit here impatiently and hold it down to make sure that it is set in place, glued down to the gods, bitch. And then I always just brush through the hair to make sure it is kind of like structured and like molded to my head or whatever. And for a while, my wig was honestly looking like fucking ass. Like it dead ass just looked like I was sitting on top of my head because nobody told me for one, that I was supposed to be gluing it and two, how to do the whole like baby hair process and make it look like it's literally growing out of my scalp. And then what I do next is take one of these dusty, crusty ass fucking spoolies that are supposed to be for my eyelash extensions and spray a little of the got to be glued freezing spray on it. So it's kind of covered in that. And then while I kind of wait for this to get tacky, I always kind of brush the hair. Like I leave like half an inch of like baby hairs if that makes sense in the front and then just brush the rest kind of like back and out of my fucking way just like all these bitches who are constantly in my lane and then I take the spoolie and kind of just go in like this to lay the baby hairs so yeah I kind of just make sure it's laid over the lace and kind of give it the more natural look and then that side is done so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this shit again take my mirror And so 
then next step, you have to straighten it, obviously, and make it look like you didn't get dicked down in the club last night, even though you literally did. So I turned my strainer just to 350, just like the fucking oven when you're fried as fuck and want to make pizza rolls. And I kind of just half-ass it, just like everything else I do in life. Just kind of go through it and hope for the best, because I don't get it. Like, is there a certain way to straighten hair? Do I care? No. Okay, why is she tangled? Does anybody else relate to like one side of your hair being like harder to straighten? Like, I don't know if it's just like me being right handed, but like this side is like so much like weirder or whatever. Let's pretend I graduated college. So just kind of messily and violently straighten it and hope for the best. So as you guys can kind of tell right here, the baby hairs are just kind of laid on the top part of my forehead over the lace to make it look so much more natural and cute. And then I take this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. Just because sometimes I hate when like it looks like there's breakage or like anything that's not perfect because I want it to look the absolute best in the entire world. Honestly, why aren't I getting paid for this? It's so fucking transphobic and rude. The lid literally broke off. You guys know I'm just a trashy ass cunt. Oh my god. So I kind of just shake it and drop the oil in my hand. I always start at the bottom because I don't want the top of my hair to like look greasy in any way, shape, or form. And then kind of just do it at the top to make it look even more natural and cute. Oh, she's cute or whatever. Okay, so now that I straightened it, put oil all over it just like your dad. And laid the edges. That is pretty much how I put on my fucking wig and make it look bomb as fuck. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely let me know if you want to see like more hair tutorial moments. Even though I suck ass and literally am untalented as shit. But like... What wig bitch? What wig cap? Like, sugar bear hair as fuck. Halo vitamins. Hi. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this quick little mini tutorial, I guess, make sure to give this video a big ass motherfucking thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below and join the hooker fam. And until next time, you guys, stay true.